Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to this video tutorial on how to install UISP server in your local. So basically, this is the link for the installation guide. And yeah. So the prerequisites would be either of this for operating system and then the ram is to at least 2 gig and then 16 gig of ssd storage and then 64 bit cpu and the rest so in order for it to run in um in windows so i need you guys to install um docker desktop Stop. here which i will um put in the description below so you need to install that docker desktop and then here in this link um right after the installation you need to up to download the wsl2 linux kernel update for 64 bit machines and this is to allow um linux sub team i mean linux subsystem in windows and then then after um downloading the, the this file this one you need to install that and then step 5 open the powershell here and then after that one you need to copy this command and then uh, put it in the powershell and then next is install your linux distribution of choice so for this one um i will do this one on my end so first is you need to make sure that my docker desktop is running so right now i'm pinning that okay so just wait so for your end if it's already running then um think you're good to go so it's just uh, okay um it's done and then let's go to this one then make sure here in settings resources and wsl integration and then by the way if you happen to don't have wsl so most of the time it works on windows 10 i'm on windows 10 so uh, it's a good thing if you ever have it already a windows 10 but for windows 7 um i'm not sure if this works but yeah you can still try so make sure that uh, you have checked the enable integration with my default wsl distro and then we're going to um execute the step six which is to open the microsoft store and then here search for any point zero four lts which is one of the operating system that is supported for the uisp which is this one okay and then we're going to have to get that one installed 
so it will take time so let's just wait So right now it's done. So let's open it. So anyway, it will um initialize the installment. This one it, we could close this one already. So yeah, let's just wait. Now you need to uh, enter your Unix username um, for this tutorial. I just um, put um, the username as uh, Ubuntu root. My password is and so here we have successfully installed the Ubuntu. So right now we're going we're good to go to install the the UISP. But first we need to um, first open the port 80 and 440 in our um, Windows. So we need to go to Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. And then go to Unbound Rules and then New Rule. Then click the port. Then uh, for the specific local ports, you need to put AT443. And that's TCP. Because um, UISP uses TCP. And then allow the connection. Then check all. Then name the rule and then the description and that should be to the work. But um, for my end, it's already done, so I didn't need to add that one. So next is to also allow um ports on the Ubuntu. So we need to execute this comment okay and then also um port 440 okay so we have already done so now we need to execute sudo up update this is to update all the um, default packages in the Ubuntu 20.04 and then as you can see there are 88 packages that can be upgraded so we need to do that also so, so do uh, I so let's just wait
now it's done so um, we're good to go so next we're going to copy this solution command from the UISP solution guide and then this in here So here we will have an error and this uh, will be fixed by using this command cd to docker start so basically what happens is that um since this is a container based docker is a container based so here we will have an error executing this command to enable docker so what we need is to um, wait. So, to start the docker by using this command so basically here this strip plus sh it's uh, installing the docker and it's already doing that but uh, it's failing on enabling the start the docker or starting the docker so here using this command it will start the docker so what we can do is is arrow up with the um, previous command for which we have copied from the uisp installation guide so what will happen is it will skip installing the docker since uh, it will recognize the docker version so here it will um, pull the docker images for the UISP 